So here you can see the little jewel in the air here, fighting the spirits. The DJI Mini SE, Mini 2 SE. The DJI Mini 2 SE. So here you can see the little jewel in the air here, fighting the spirits. The DJI Mini 2 SE. Welcome back to the channel here, yeah. folks. I have a new drone today. It's the Mini 2 SE. Yes, I picked it up a couple of days ago. And it is the replacement for my DJI Mini SE that developed the power system error. I don't know why. And I... Took it off to a repair shop. And after buying a new motherboard and the rare motors, etc., I was told that it was not possible to have it repaired. So I just decided to pick up the Mini 2 SE. Saw a lot of good reviews about this drone. I am here on a very sunny day at the Dock in Long Bay, and this is the fourth flight of the Mini 2 SE. So, this is my first impressions. And at the end of this video, I'm going to do a very short unboxing. And so, I am pushing out. There's a very strong breeze. And uh, it seems that the drone has been pushed around. I'm getting a very strong wind warning. Nevertheless, I'm blown away by the quality of the video footage here. So I'm just tilting the camera to look down. This 2.K resolution camera can run circles around all the non-DJI Jones that claim to have 4K cameras or 4K resolution. This is absolutely stunning footage here from a 2.7 resolution camera. And the drone is performing well so far. My Mini SE was the first drone that I purchased. And I had the drone six months before I actually flipped. I bought it in June 2022. And I never actually took it up until sometime in December. Late December. And I have not flown it a lot. I have flown it. Just a few times. In fact, the original battery that it came with only have eight cyclos. And the two spare batteries only have about four cyclos each. So I've not stolen it a lot. Never crashed it. Never landed in water. Never had any water damage. So I was surprised when I got this power system error. And I look at a lot of YouTube videos and did a lot of um, troubleshooting. Nothing seems to work. Then I took it to the shop and I was optimistic that it would be repaired. And then they informed me that they couldn't repair it, that they couldn't repair it. Um, however, they refunded me in full. I should have actually sent it into uh, DJI. In fact, that is what my nephew had encouraged me to do. But I thought that I was going off. I could just drop it by the shop, pick it up in a couple of days, and everything would have been fine. Turned out that it was irreparable. I hope sometime in the future to pick up probably a user refurbish mini SE. 
But for now, this mini two SE will have to do. And it's a very impressive drone. It's really, really good. In fact, I believe it's punching here above its weight. I'm still getting this strong, this strong wind warning. But I'm pushing out. Not going to go too far. And the drone is really holding its own. Um, granted that there was a, a stiff breeze when I took off, I still miss the steadiness of the original Mini SE. That drone was rock steady. But this drone is, is doing quite well. And the, uh, the app crashed. In fact, I think this is the first time the DJI Fly app have crashed and mean probably more than a year of um, flying. So there's a force for everything. I'm back in the app. And I noticed there was a ship, there's a boat out here, probably a barge in the water. Maybe I'll just go out a little and do some quick shots. And see how the, the drone performs. Three, two, one.
Shots completed. I'm getting low on the battery about 29%. It is the first charge in this battery. Should give me about 30 31 minutes flight time. I'm down less than 30%. It is time to bring this tune back to the home point and let's see how close it is going to land. So let's hit um, return to home. And the app, and let's see how close it is going to return to the, the home point. So today is a good day for flying. Hit the return to home now, and the drone is coming back, and it is now descending. And now let's see how close it is going to come to the landing pad. It seems that it's going to be some ways off. It is coming down. It's coming, it's down. coming down. You could see it in the top. It's coming down. Left hand corner. And you could see where the landing pad is. It's going to be a good six feet or so of the landing pad. But at least it knows where home is. So there you have it. It came down about some six feet of the landing pad. But not bad at all. For a project. And what I propose to do now is to change up the battery and take the drone up in the opposite direction. Just fly around and see how the camera performs. And probably wind may not be as strong in that direction as it is. Or as it was in the direction that I've flown previously. But I'm impressed so far with this little 246 grams tone. I mean, any product from DJI 
in my view and in my experience, have performed exceptionally well. So I'm not surprised that this June is performing that well. So I'm up and I'm pushing out in the opposite direction. I'm going to go over the leeward dock in the area of the Blue Haven Marina. But there's a new kid on the black. It's the Avatar 2 FPV Joan. I'm just getting my feet wet in the FPV hobby. Just flown my fourth FPV beginner Joan, so to speak, the Emax Easy Pilot Joan. First time putting on a goggles. It's a very interesting experience. I'll have to fly it a few more times to see if I really want to get into the FPV hobby. hobby. But I'm quite okay with my camera Jones. So you could see the horizon here is absolutely level. No issue with the wind. No wind warning. And I'm zooming here. There was a, a zoom and this drone. So I'm using like the four by four times zoom here. So I'm zooming way out. There's a lot of um, yachts docked in the, in the marina here. I've flown in this general direction of this area before. I've flown the DJI Spark, the DJI Mini 3, and the experience flying in this area have always been, been good. So now I am back to the ordinary lens, no zoom here. And I'm just pushing out. So my first impression of this Mini 2 SE is um, very positive. I'm hoping to pick up the, the Fimi Mini version 2, the orange version shortly. I tried to pick it up a couple of days ago, but it was only the one battery option that was available. And it was going for $299. The two battery option is like two fifth, um, like three fifty. And you get two batteries, you get um the the carrying case with the one battery option, you just get the one battery the drone and a few accessories. So I think it's more cost effective to buy the combo version or the combo option than the one battery. So I declined to purchase the one battery option and I'm going to wait until the combo option is available. So probably in a month or two, I should have the Fimi orange version on this channel to test out. And so I am padding around here and I'm right very close to the Blue Haven Resort. This is the marina here right in front of the, the resort. And the, 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 the video feed is absolutely crystal clear. I am in the shade here behind a tree with large branches. I'm just trying to, to shield my phone so that the screen wouldn't go dim on me. But I have no issues at all with um, FPV feed.
and now I'm just bringing the drone back to home. Let me take a few photos, which I will post at the end of the, this um, video. And uh, stay tuned for the short unboxing coming up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you very shortly in another one. But most of all, I thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. The DJI Mini 2SE, a very impressive drone. It is really, really good. And I could recommend this as a first drone for a beginner. Cheers. <music>
Bye for now. Cheers. And this is a photo from the Joan Crystal Clear. Very impressive. Stay tuned for the unboxing. DJI Mini 2 SE. And I picked this up as a replacement for my DJI Mini SE. The one that had the issue. You may remember I posted a video about it. That I had a power system error. And it would not take off. And I actually took it to a repair shop and it appeared that they are not able to fix it. I should have sent it back to DJI, but I didn't. So instead I picked up this as a replacement. So I only got the one battery version because the standard mini SE battery could work with this and i have about three batteries so let's see what comes in the box so we have the joan here about 246 grams and we have this box here with spear props and so we have a screwdriver we have spare props and we have cables charging cable and the cable to connect to your phone and here we have the controller so it it works with the same controller as the mini two and here's the cable connected here if you're going to use your iPhone and it's neatly tucked in and the sticks are tucked into the bottom yeah it's a pretty neat let me tell you about the specs very um briefly it says it's two under 249 i believe it's about 246 grams it is a 2.7k camera 10 kilometers HD video transmission, one tap takeoff and landing, return to home, quick shots, panorama, 38 kilo meters or level five wind resistance and it can fly on one battery for about 31 minutes.